Hey guys, it's Max Imagination here. So, um, lately I've been having a bit of a problem with uh, lizards in my house. They've been pooping everywhere inside and I need to figure out how to get them outside the house without killing them or harming them. So, I came up with a very simple and safe idea. So this is a box trap. So the lizard walks inside. There's a mechanism they trigger which makes this door shut and keeps them inside with air vents until I find them and then let them out. If you want to know how to make this, let's get started. Start by tracing all of your parts out with a marker and a ruler onto a sheet of cardboard. After that's done, cut your pieces out with an X-Acto knife. Then pop your pieces out. So one of these rectangular pieces cannot have a hole in them because this is going to be our base. And this is everything you're going to need. Now you're going to glue the clear plastic sheets onto the cardboard that has the holes in it. I found these clear plastic sheets from a plastic wrapping of a package. I got it from a mouse pad package. It's a very flat kind of plastic. Slice some rectangular holes on the sides of the trap four centimeters from the edge. This is going to be for the pressure plate of our trap. Then glue them to the base. As you can see, once I glued the back on, it was a little bit too tall, so I have to cut a little bit off the back. So it's a bit shorter. And guys, just if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell not to miss my new videos. Okay, let's get back to the video. Then put the stick through the new holes we've made and the new little pressure plate system with a paper clip and also feed it through the top roof part and glue the roof to the sides. Leave a little vent at the top so that the lizard can breathe once it's trapped. But don't make it too big otherwise the lizard can escape. And here's just to show you how easily this thing can be set off. Here's a very light piece of metal. So what's happening here is when the lizard walks into the box, or into the trap, it steps on this piece of cardboard, which is slanted. Then it puts pressure down on this plate, which moves this paper clip that we put through the whole box. And it goes up here on the top, and this paper clip is holding this whole rod here. And when it drops down, it lets go of this piece of metal, which also makes the door shut. In a quick adjustment, I just decided to put this skewer on to hold the rubber band. Now let's put a couple of dead flies in for the lizard's bait. Oh my god, guys, I think I caught something. Oh my gosh. I caught a lizard. This is after having it here for like 24 hours, one day. I actually caught a lizard. And it, it is alive. It has air vents, so don't worry. It's not suffocating. We gotta go light it out. Let's go. So since I care a lot for these beautiful creatures, I'm going to let this one out. Here we go, right on the grass. And by the way, I also named him, him uh, Ralph. Here you go, buddy. You can go out. It's your time. There he goes. 
Guy, surprisingly enough, he doesn't want to leave me. I think I made a new friend. So here's Ralph, the lizard. Very nice. But I'm still going to let him go. There he goes. Now he's gone. Alright guys, that should wrap up this video showing you how to make this box trap that safely traps the lizard so that you can later let it out. And you already know it, I successfully caught a lizard in this trap and let it out. Guys, don't forget to hit this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet, and comment down below sharing your opinion on my new invention. Thanks for watching guys! See you next week! Peace!